kick and support. This drill teaches players to give long, accurate kick passes and to support the ball at pace. Set up the drill as in the video. Players should move clockwise to the next group when they make a pass. Encourage players to kick accurately and to time their runs off the shoulder. Kick to space. This drill teaches players to play the pass into space rather than directly at the player. It also teaches the players receiving the pass to make a run away from the pass before receiving the pass. Set up and run the drill as in the video. More balls can be added in to speed up the drill. Distances can be varied depending on the ability of the group. Encourage the kicker to hit the space rather than the player. Ensure that the drill is performed at match pace. Man in the middle react. This drill teaches players to react to calls quickly while at the same time improving passing and handling. Set up the drill as in the video. One player starts in the middle. Two players on the outside have a ball each. The player in the middle receives the first pass from any player on the outside. They must immediately pass to a player on the outside who does not have a ball. The receiving player then calls a colour. The player in the middle must then spread around that colour pole before going and taking the next pass. Run this drill for between 15 to 60 seconds, depending on the type of fitness required. Man in the middle. Set up a square of between 20 metres by 20 metres for fist passing or 50 metres by 50 metres for kick passing, depending on the ability of your players. Four players with two balls should be at the cones. One player starts in the middle. The player in the middle receives a pass from one of the outside players and immediately must pass to one of the other players on the outside that does not have a ball. They must then look for the next pass of the other player. Decision making can be increased by allowing the outside players to move around the square and pass among each other. Miss aside. This drill teaches players to play a hook pass or to fist it over the shoulder. Set up the drill as in the video, placing the cones between 10 and 30 metres apart, depending on the skill being practised. The ball starts in the corner with one player. As they begin to move, the player at the next cone is also moving toward the free cone. The player in possession passes to the receiving player who takes the ball on the move. The next player begins moving straight away. The drill continues in this fashion with the pass missing a side every time. Move in fours. This drill teaches players to move the ball forward in fours. Set up the drill as in the video. The poles are placed so that each pass must be allowed to pass, avoiding the hands of the defender. The ball starts in the bottom corner. The first pass should be to the supporting player moving. The second pass should change the direction of the play and be lobbed over the poles. The receiving player should take the ball in their stride towards the cone. When they hit the cone, they should quickly turn and offload to the supporting player. The ball is then taken at pace to the opposite corner, where the player turns and starts the drill in the opposite direction. To increase the work, reduce the number of players involved in the drill. 
Players should be encouraged to take every pass at pace going forward. Move in, move out. This drill allows players to progress their kicking in a measurable way. Set up and run the drill as in the video, placing the cones 5 metres apart. As the outside player completes each kick pass, they are allowed to move to the next cone. See how far the players can work out before a kick is misplaced. Encourage players to punt kick the ball off the front of their laces, using the same technique no matter what the distance. Off the shoulder. This drill teaches players the importance of good passing and good timing of runs. Set up the drill as in the video. The ball starts and is kicked to the group down the line. The support comes from the group on the opposite side, who then pass the ball to the next person down the line. Players should follow the rotation as in the video. The player who receives the kick pass should stay, as they become the next support player. The player who plays the kick pass joins the nearest group on the other side. Play your own colour. This drill teaches players to get their head up quickly and keep possession of the ball. Divide the group into three, giving the players in each group the same colour bib and a ball between every three players. Place all the players inside a square of 30 metres by 30 metres. Each player can only pass to a player on their own team and only take four steps. There are no solos or bounces. Players must time their runs and take the ball at pace. The drill should run for between 30 to 90 seconds, depending on the fitness type being trained. Complete Football Drill The Complete Football Drill allows players to kick, fist pass, time runs and develop good handling techniques while simply following the ball to where they play it. The drill should start with one ball, and as your team becomes more accustomed to the drill, add in more balls. Eventually the drills should be performed at high intensity. Complete Football Drill 2 This drill allows players to kick, fist pass, time runs and develop good handling techniques by simply following the ball to where they play it. The drill only uses one ball, and the number of players per drill should be varied to cater for fitness requirements. Less players will mean more work with less rest. More players will lead to more rest and better quality on the running. Start slow, but eventually the drill should be performed at high intensity. Score and keep fist pass. This game teaches players the importance of keeping possession. As once a team loses it, it can be a while before they get it back. Set up the pitch as in the video. Start the game with a high ball into the middle. The team that wins possession must work it to a scoring zone to get one point. Once they score, they immediately turn and attack for the other zone. Teams can quickly accumulate a big lead. It is important the team not in possession do not stop working if they go three or four scores down. If you find that the teams are moving the ball over and back rather than forward, you can limit the time they have to work a score. This will ensure they move the ball forward quickly. Play the game for a set time or a set score. Take and turn. This drill teaches players to time their runs and take the ball at pace. Set up and run the drill as in the video. Start the ball at the left cone, with the player taking the ball at pace around the opposite cone. The first pass goes to the stationary player. As the first player begins to move, the player at the right cone should make their run around the opposite cone, so that they time the run to take the pass off the stationary player. The ball is then passed quickly to the next player at the left cone. Encourage players to time their runs and move onto the ball at pace. T 
team passing drill. This drill teaches players the importance of good handling and also timing of runs. Set up the drill as in the video. You can use any number of groups facing each other to run this drill. In the video, there are five groups. The ball can start at any point, as it always follows the same pattern around the groups. Initially start with one ball, but very quickly extra footballs should be introduced. Encourage players to move on to the ball at pace when taking a pass. Thread the needle. This drill teaches players to punt kick accurately off the front of their boot. Set up and run the drill as in the video. Choose your kicking distance to correspond to the ability level of your players. Encourage the players to line up their passes by kicking through the poles. Narrow the distance between the poles as the players get better at kicking.